It's time for some casual bartender simulation activities. Hopefully with less explosions! Speaking of explosions, if you hear explosions from my mic, that is just good old 4th of July. It's uh, broad daylight out still. I'm not sure what the appeal of setting off fireworks and daylight is, but uh, it happens. It sure does happen. It's 11 a.m. now. That's morning for me on the weekends. Any other day. How's everything outside? Still noisy, but forces have been deployed to take care of most of them at least. How oh, so? Zaibetsu Corp's president is pleading with anyone to stop the rogue White Knights. Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly and have subdued most of the opposition. Also been reports of White Knight just freezing, like they were petrified somehow. It could sound like some god suddenly decided to put everything in place. Well, I'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building. I'm sure there's still some bad apples out. It's not really safe yet, but it was worse last night. Also seems to be a civilian force lynching any white knight they spot. So not only are white knights a problem, regular folks are on edge too. <laughs> Ironic advertisement here. Let's change that back to the good one. Oh, wait, there's channels now. I don't think there used to be channels. Ah oh, yes, good old channel one. That's the important one. All right, I guess I can turn back on scan lines. Sorry, this, this is the one Valhalla Let's Play where the scan lines are incredibly inconsistent. I, but that that text I turned them off on was just unreadable with the scan lines on. Anyway, the kid sure knows how to take care of himself. I'm sure that whatever it is that he's doing, he's safe. Dare I say, even safer where he is than here. Sure hope so. Are we gonna work today? Nah, I think it's too nasty right now. Let's take the Sunday off. Oh, all right. Say, so, do you want me to help you get your apartment? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Alright then. I guess maybe this is why the last episode was so short? Eh, whatever. Too late now. Okay then, let me lock things up and we'll go. We'll grab something for lunch on the way. Sounds good. Oh. What is this? Snake! Um, oh crap, I can't remember any references. We've managed to avoid drowning, I guess. I don't know. And here we are! Home sweet home, thanks a lot. Are the settings any different? No. Hey boss, wanna hang out for a bit? Boss! Yeah, grab a beer, chill out for a bit. Actually, thank you for helping me. You people in your beers. These scrolling things are very distracting for no reason. Anyway, well I don't have much to do anyway, so yeah, sure. Did I tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometime, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. It worries me that beer always leads to something else. I'm not gonna sleep with you. To more beer? I was gonna say to one of us going through the Spanish announcer's table. But I think we're safe here. Come on in then. Excuse me? Want one? Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind me though. Smoke if you want to. Thanks. So how's the chilly weather treating you? It's cold from time to time, but it's nothing the koketsu in the heater can't fix. Uh, traditional American koketsu. On 4th of July, no less. How patriotic. Oh, right, boss. You're not very good with a cold, are you? You know it. You didn't bring your jacket here, either. Yeah, I left it at home when going to the bar yesterday. It wasn't that cold, and I didn't expect to spend the whole night at the bar. Would you like a sweat or something? Oh, don't mind me. I insist. I have this old hoodie from some time ago, and it's too big for me. Why buy it, then? It was dirt cheap. Practical. Wait. Where did you get this one? Don't know. Some flea market ages ago. Why? Nothing. It's just like one I had many years ago. What happened to it? Too much use. It just ripped. I see. Keep it if you want. I never use it anyway. We'll see. Couldn't think of it. How old are you, boss? Boss. Uh, I'm eternally 17. Sure you are. Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus I'd have to cut off your tiny pee now. Okay. Let me go change into something more comfortable. Take your time. Cat face. Cat. Looming cat. Aww. Say, Jill, there's a blue eyed mass. The black fur glaring in my general direction. Hmm? Oh, it's just four. 
to worry about any new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. Parker loves new visitors as long as they're not loud. They'll warm up quickly though. Just give them time. It's unusual looking. Blue eyes on a black cat. They usually have green. Yeah, weird, huh? First I thought they were like that because he was small. They never changed. Do you have any pets, boss? If I could home we'd have bear. I said what? Good old Bosco. He kept intruders way better than any dog. Right. What? Oh my god, it's that photobomb idle garbage person. Huh? This picture isn't something you see every day. The style is so weird compared to the normal stuff. What, me taking such a sappy pic? No, a framed picture on printed paper. It's so vintage. Who are these? That's just... The one on the right is Lenore, my ex-girlfriend. The one on the left is Gabrielle, her sister. Huh, is this picture recent? Or... Is that's why they look like clones. This one's giving me some, like, creepy clown vibes over here. I don't like this one. We got bad taste in women, Jill. Actually, that's in three or four years ago. You look exactly the same. And you look like freaking Pinocchio over here. I don't know, there's... Something's off about the aesthetic of this one. Only 27, what did you expect? That's why they say kids are the ones who get old. It was recent because you don't see people like this displaying the pictures of their exes so openly. Let alone a printed and framed one. Did you two break up on good terms then? I even hesitated a bit when calling her your ex. So uh, let's just say that everything between ended between us saying mean things. Let me storm me out of her house, breaking a couple of things on the way out. We never broke up formally, and I guess I still have feelings for her. I just that's healthy. I just went away. Haven't said a word since. Really? It's hard to figure you're doing such a thing. You look so happy in the pic. Looks more like confused and humiliated to me, but whatever. Why well, have her pick it pick out like this then? I just couldn't get my mind off something that Alma said to me. About missing having the warmth of someone pressed against your side. Using, uh... Don't hit on Dana, Jill. It's not gonna work out. Using them as a pillow, mixing their perfume with theirs, putting your head in their chest. Why are you going such to such detail? This is not boss-safe conversation, bro. Putting your head in their chest. In their chest, just all the way in there. Through the sternum. Past the ribcage, good stuff. Nice and warm in there. Listen to their breathing through their skin. As they pet your head, after you carve out their t chest cavity. Dozing off, knowing you're there, watching you, protecting you. I don't know, it felt nostalgic and miserable. The two good things. I'll just put this away. <laughs> Been meaning to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Uh, you know, four years. Hey, remember when I broke a bunch of stuff at your house four years ago? Uh, my, my bad. My bad. Uh, you wanna play some Mario Party? Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my head that I'll meet her on the street. I just don't know if I can face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd be a mess. It's never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Hmm? What's that on the table? Snail mail? How dare you? Nothing. Nothing! Now, please give that to me. Nope. Right. It's not nothing, don't worry. Anyway, let's grab some beers! Stop capitalizing beers. Guide me. What? Damn, you have lots of beer! Shine Spark out. Kira Mickey! Beers so far zero. Remaining beer 100%. Are we. Whoa. Well... <laughs> I guess this is one of our vital decision-making points. BTC gives me discounts and a point card I can use every time I buy their alcohol. That beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. <laughs> I have a drink button. Is there any difference between the drinks of the bar and these? I'm gonna get wasted, I'm sorry. And drinks of the bar are way more <coughs> addictive, colorful, and also stronger than the ones they sell in the store. Besides, the one in the bar is more of a double IPA. It's more of a pilsner. In English, please. I, l I love that it's animated. This one's lighter in color and flavor. I don't know, it doesn't taste that lighter to me. Is this one made with that, um, 
What was the name of the base liquid? Neutrogenical diacanatri- Dicometrical lysogenical or NDL. It's a supplement or something, right? There's an experimental fluid they use to create to replace water. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you can do that. I'm pretty sure you can't do that. Um, when the maiden kiss polluted water supplies. That is, that is a very cute name for like ecological terrorism or whatever. Side effects of pollution turn out to be temporary, so NDL never went to mass production. The BTC can still commissioned it for use in bars. Is this one made with it? Let's see, yep, here it is, near the end. NDL and cornstarch. Wouldn't that wouldn't a beer without alcohol give you an even worse hangover? Cause like water makes it less bad, so and then you just don't have any water. So there's a stabilizer, if I remember correctly. These are for package drinks. I see, and I just realized something. What? You're a nerd, Jill. Guilty is charged. It's my alcohol collection if you feel like getting anything else. There's bottles over there. I'm so fascinated by this beer these beer mechanics. Um, I can't afford a fancy fridge or whatever, so I have to put them in plain sight. I'm guessing if some authority and alcohol came in here, he'd stab me for crimes against beverages or something. Anyway. Most of them are still drinkable. I'm pretty sure just keep them cool and out of sunlight is basically all you need to do. Unless they, like, expire. Um, I guess some of you need to be pretty cool. Like wine, I guess. I can get you some of the, the absinthe I brought to the bar if you want. I'm not an Oscar Wilde kind of person, sadly. More of a Theodore or Roosevelt kind of girl. A teddy bear in my closet, but I don't think you can drink it. No, that's what I what you do. Not a shame of Dr. Fluff, but it just so happens I have a cat. I don't want the bears filling spilled all over the place. Oh. Parker doesn't really attack plushies, he just knocks them on the floor. He's got a... There's a big tall thing he likes to climb on, and uh... I put all my plushies on a mantle next to that thing, and he just climbs over the whole thing and knocks everything over, so... I have to find somewhere else to store those now. I got a nice display case for my vinyl figures, but uh, kind of a waste for the plushies. I'll just, I don't know, I'll find somewhere. I need to, um, well, it's not me that needs to do something, but uh, I'm getting the second or er, second floor of my house redone so it's like operable and I can put stuff in there. Everything feels pretty temporary until I get that done, so uh, I don't bother being too fancy. I got it from my grandpa. I made a will where the only thing stipulated was that I got them. Wait, I forgot what that was about. Oh, the booze collection. I see. <laughs> That's sweet. I've already done some of it over the years. I am not acting very drunk for having five beers in like two minutes. <laughs> uh, oops. I've already... Uh, I guess you need an expert or something to notice the difference. Half of them have colored water instead of alcohol. Oh. I I'm pretty sure you can tell which ones have been opened at least. Yeah, make sure the water's the right color though. Bottom line, if you want to taste anything from it, let me know. You're too kind. On a side note, it surprised me you kept that poster of me in your room. Hey, isn't that creepy? More than you hung it in plain sight. I gave it to you as more or less a joke, you know? Does it make you uncomfortable? If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. I'm still wondering why you- I, I know, I, I, I think I am- I would be pretty weirded out if I went over to somebody's house and there's just pictures of me all over that are like, best YouTuber. Well, I guess, I don't know, maybe that would be- I guess, me, like, if it was like Sir Tap Tap, I could deal with that. But like pictures of my real face and just my normal name, I don't know, I think I'd be pretty creeped out by that. I'm still wondering why you did it though. Aside from filling an empty spot in the wall. Yeah, if you wanna, you know, put a poster of, you know, a big spike ball on your wall that says best YouTuber ever, you know, you can you can go ahead and do that. Whatever. I thought it was funny too. 
okay? It's a pretty weird joke, if you ask me. But who am I to judge on weird jokes? I guess it's like if someone gave you... I don't know. A dildo-shaped trophy and you just had it there as a conversation starter. Oh my gosh, she's... She's bright red. I just... How long has she been like that? <laughs> I guess we're wasted now. What? No steamy nights of passion? Not since a year ago, I think. I'd rather not talk about what happened then. Did someone hurt you? Because if they did, I can go dish out the pain. You are not acting drunk at all. I, I was expecting things to change up a bit when I got her wasted. Oh. Keep drinking, I guess. Uncomfortable mess. And not being able to have sex for reasons mess. Oh. Glad to know you have my back, though. Why would you tell someone that? Uh, that's what friends are for. Wait, you talk about... Wait, you talk about the poster and compare it to having a dildo-shaped trophy. Did you just call me dildo face? That's what friends are for. Maybe I am drunk. Maybe that's why I'm saying stupid things. I don't, uh, uh, whatever. As with any black cat or house cat in general, he's actually a stray. Found him in the alleys near the building. Not long after I moved here, I think. I see. It's quite the sight, though. I was cornered by all these dogs out there, keeping their distance. He was holding his ground, hissing and scratching as much as he could. It's a fried chicken bucket nearby. It had some rainwater in it, so I threw some water over the dogs. They ran. I figured the cat's mom would be nearby, so I left. <laughs> We've had eight beers in about five minutes. We are going to die. Turns out the little shit started following me. So you brought it home. Though, I mean, I guess it depends on how alcoholic these are. Not much of a happy witch she is. I need... I need a fair amount of booze to actually get tipsy. Like, I'll put away a six-pack myself. That's kind of why... That's why I don't drink beer. I don't even like most beer, so... It's inefficient, it's expensive, and it doesn't taste very good, so... I just go straight for mixed drinks that actually taste good and have higher alcohol content if I want to get drunk. And they double as just good drinks if you don't want alcohol in them. Uh, having him... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, him welcome me whenever I came back was just too much for my heart, so we ended up staying. It's Destiny, girl. When he came, he was so cute, though. Not like the fat mess that's sleeping on the table. Hey, you're not a spring chicken yourself, you know. Why is his name in white? Oh ho. Wrecked by a cat. Shit, I actually did that in front of someone else. Oh ho ho ho. Anyway. Don't anyway me. Do you normally speak to your cat like that? Maybe. I wonder if Gil's alright. You worried about him? <laughs> Pierce is a far nine. They could sound like some emotional robot. It can be hard to read. <laughs> this is... Why is the dialogue not changing? Um, three things that for certain I know about him. Can I just... I don't know, we're limited by the animation. I was wondering if we could just chug it. First, he can take care of himself. Second, you can sincerely trust him. And third, he absolutely ha hates bell pepper. How can you hate bell pepper? It's pretty tasteless. I mean... Reject food that's been in contact with it. I wonder if... My mom actually thinks bell pepper is spicy. It has literally no, um, it's a zero on the whatever scale. The, um, crap. What is that thing called? I know, um, Scoville scale. Yeah, it's, there's, there's nothing spicy or anything in there. It's just like, it has a flavor, but it's really mild. I mean, not just mild, it's not spicy at all. It's like eating a cucumber. It's as spicy as cucumbers. What a baby. How'd you meet such a guy? He showed up in the door in front of the bar. Well, it was shortly after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation potion. Right, levitation potion. It was a slow day and he just showed up at the bar. Offered him a drink. He said he didn't have any money on him. Couldn't leave him alone, so I pretty much gave him the drinks for free. After a couple, he broke down crying. He, huh? I don't know what he did, but he was really, really regretting it. He wanted a second chance or whatever. I, if I told him if he could wash himself up, I'd find him a job. I'll be damned, he looked totally different the next day. Damn. 
tried and failed to find out anything about him. I guess we're just gonna drink all of this. I decided to take him at face value. I judge him from what he did as an employee. Aside from the occasional sudden escapade, he's as loyal as loyal gets. I return the favor in kind, covering his ass from time to time. Sometimes literally. Ugh. It surprises me you took him in so easily. I can take care of myself and always kept an eye on him. Besides, after the whole robber thing, I couldn't ignore someone that desperate that easily. I see. You made the bar more lively yourself, you know? How so? Well, with the regulars you've earned, of course. Like that blonde titty hacker. <laughs> Can't remember her name. That's a hoge hacker to you, ma'am. Alma? I was gonna say Armitage. Out of beer, no! Game over, man, game over. Bad end, out of beer. Oh, she's hot. <laughs> I'll give her that much. So yeah, we've now done 12 beers in 10 minutes. I'm sure there will be no repercussions for this. You all right, Jill? Yeah, why? It's weird to say you so openly that someone's hot. What, even you can see she, she has the, 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 the. I guess I've been drinking too. It, it, you can see she has a hot body, boss. Find no objections here. I mean, I'll be lying if I said I hadn't thought about taking to her room and uh, calm down. Jill, you sure you aren't drunk? No, she's not drunk. I am. I mean, I'm sure I'm not. I mean, finally we get some boozy dialogue. But those are the thoughts I leave to myself. I don't think I can handle her in a relationship. She has weird standards. That and she's straight as straight gets. How disappointing. She's still a lovely person, though. That she became a regular is a blessing. Any regular is a blessing when you get down to it. It's also that sex worker robot girl. Uh, Dorothy. She intrigues me, though I've seen lots of sex workers over the year, and she seems pretty giddy. It's not that she likes her job, but rather she takes to it with such childish... Ugh. I hate you, game. I've kind of noticed that too, but then again, Lilum can be weird. You think? Lilum operate in some r really foreign logic. I mean, they don't really share a fear of mortality. Even if their bodies are destroyed, their minds are effectively backed up in the collective source. Even if they lose an arm, they can retach it or replace it. Depending on the circumstances, they might not feel pain at all. It's not like they haven't attained human-like emotions like fear or love, but they're different. Like a different culture, if you must. You, this is not drunk dialogue. Hmm. Didn't see it in that way. Aside from that, uh... Social interactions model. Uh-huh. Let them get positive reinforcement straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their, same, their main person, their purpose, so... I'm guessing she gets a built-in push whenever she's in a meaningful or challenging social interaction. Interesting. The name Lilum is a bit weird, though. It is? I expect them to be called bots or dolls, but Lilum doesn't convey the image of automatons. Just a tip, bots and dolls are considered slurs by them. Bot is akin to calling them retarded, and doll is like calling them fake. Thanks for the advice. That aside, do you know why they're called Lilith? I know. I knew it was Lilith. Is, is Lilith a real thing, though? I've never heard that before this. It just sounded... Oh, okay. Thank you for explaining. And Lilith or Lilith's offspring in Jewish folklore. Ooh, cool. Hey, speaking of names, how would you like being called by your full name? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't act stupid. Back when you first transferred, I called you Julianne, and you almost tore me into me with your glare. See? Like that. It's no big secret, but it's one of those things I feel is really silly when you say it out loud. Try me. Well, did you ever watch Model Warrior Julianne? Not all of it, my little sister's a big fan of the reruns. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. I had everything, from the dolls, to the costumes, to the lunchboxes. It didn't help there's one of those shows strapped literally everywhere. This is the most tame drunk talk I've ever read or experienced. Saw a couple of episodes once. They were really nice. It was beyond nice. The show is about a model who can transform an armor-clad magic knight. She fights demons from greed and vanity. How does the show, how the show presented Jules hating her job because it invited her enemies? It still found solace in trying to be a role model. Hell, the main character wasn't a kid. Julianne was an adult that became younger when she transformed. It's totally not creepy at all. I said it was pretty ambitious for a kid show. Even by today's standards, 
Just the fact that their enemies were literally issues dealing with beauty <laughs> standards and body image. Challenging as fuck. Whoa, you got excited there. And that is the problem. Back then I was obsessed with jewels. I sang the songs, dressed like her. I could even recite full chapters. Something tells me you still can. Besides the point, I want my beer button back. Oops. It was nice while I was in elementary school, but when I went to middle school, and what a surprise, tweens are jackasses. They went out of their way to tease me about the things I did back then. I don't hold against jewels. I always hold my, my grudge against those fuck jobs. Sounds rough. You know how most girls worry about their thighs at that age? I worried about jerk asses singing the theme show mocking me. Anyway, every time calls me Julianne or Jules, I instinctively react negatively. Pavlov would be proud of me. Never talk about it, because I found the whole thing too silly in retrospect. So is literally the only change that I turn red. And yet it affects you even today. There's nothing wrong with it, though. It's actually kind of reasonable. Sure hope so. I'm to think about it. What kind of kid were you, boss? As a toddler, I was the kind to always to. I, I don't think toddlers can fight. I mean, toddler, I mean, they little, literally toddle. How are you gonna, like, are you just gonna fall on somebody? Anyway, then puberty happened. It's mild time compression there. Toddler to puberty. I've claimed the Merriam Webster definition of shallow jerkwad. Around the time I turned 16, I realized what an idiot it was, and went to on to being who I am today. I, I, it's a very fast maturing spurt there. The less I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. Fair enough. Say, boss, how do you like them men? <laughs> how do you like them men? <laughs> 2D? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. 2D? Yes. I don't mind anything as long as that thing is cute or 2D. How about you? <laughs> uh, back in high school, I liked them funny. In college, I liked them successful. After a while, I just wanted them stable, and now... I don't know. Stop caring about them being funny. This dialogue's kind of weird, considering... You know... She was in a relationship with a woman, yet... She's talking exclusively about guys now. I guess maybe she knows Dan is straight. It's still kind of weird... To, you know, refer to... Relationships in general as, how do you find them men? For somebody who's apparently bi. Whatever. My high school boyfriend started conflating cheering me up with mocking me with when I'm down. Oh, that's helpful. That's real helpful. I also stopped caring about them being successful. I realized half the time they have no qualms about cheating with me or on me. I stopped caring about them being stable. I realized they were the kind of person I was trying not to become. Not become stable? There was this guy who became so obsessed with holding a stable job that he hated. Started becoming physically ill. I mean, you could find somebody who's already stable, but I mean, I just noticed these windows. These are the worst windows I have ever seen. What? What is this? This is an abstract art piece, not a window. How dare you? How dare you, ma'am? Anyway, he started being physically ill. Not only that, the last time I managed to get some, I ended up throwing the guy out. He took incredible offense with how I smoked on the bed after sex. The bed could catch fire, you know? Not you, too. Kinda of envy Alma for that. At least when she dumps a guy, it's for less petty reasons for that. Are you sure? She dumps everybody after like two weeks, and you're like, yeah. Well, whatever. Are you okay? I'm fine, it's just, it all boils down to the fact that I can't get my mind off Lenore lately. She was all of what I just said. She made me laugh, and she had a good position, was stable. She was also smart, caring, and why can't I get my mind off the whole thing? Maddening. I wonder. I wonder. Maybe I should go and apologize? Maybe I should. Maybe that'll get me to rest easier at night. Get my things just get my mind off things for a while. I don't even care about going back to her, but Arg. Hey Jill. Have you ever tried to think about clothes for four? I don't think so. Hey. Listen, I know how you must feel. You can't let that cloud all your senses. Next time you feel by overwhelmed by those thoughts. Try distracting yourself, like with say, hey, thinking what kind of clothes you can put on for. You know, boss, I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends. Isn't it kind of rude to not have the cat, like, join in the conversation? Like, this is like two people having a nice chat while somebody is, like, 
five feet away, just like, nah, I'm, I'm not a third wheel at all, this is fine. No, boss, I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends. What kind of people... This is not the episode I, I was expecting to do today. Um, it's kind of weird, but I mean... I don't entirely mind the change of pace. It's a little slow, though. I guess that means I do mind the change of pace, but that's not exactly what I meant. Anyway. I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends. What kind of people do you have in it? Keep in mind, you're included in the circle, too. So any insults you hurl will fly right back to you. Anyway, I have this friend I know for a long time. Red-headed, glasses-wearing wearing gun nut named Iris. Iris! Iris! The one you called the helmet thing? That one. She's a BTC bar in Panama right now, if I remember correctly. She's managing a bar, too? I got the idea from her, actually. Oh. It's called... <laughs> My god. It's called Nirvana, and if she thought this city was dangerous, she'd deal with the people she has to deal with in there. Piracy ain't nothing to fuck with. And means it's annexed to another business. What does she do there? I think the bar was originally her hotel's bar. She moved the bar to its building somewhere else, known as Nirvana B. That's. Nirvana B. Terrible. I hate this woman now. In the hotel instead weird decision. I believe she said she wanted a place away from the noisy rich tourists that go to a hotel. Why would you want a bar somewhere that doesn't have rich tourists? That is exactly what you want in your bar. So the bar is her woman cave. Woman cave. Phrasing? That aside, let's see. Friends, friends. It's also my little sister, but that's a given. Oh, it's also my old partner from when I was in the Neo San Francisco Police Force. Good old Lexi. Should give her a call sometime. You were in the what? I've done lots of things, Jill. You still have beer. How do you have beer? I don't have beer. I'm offended by this. I spent a long time collaborating with the police force. I've been a, minute. <laughs> I've been a wrestler, an MMA fighter, chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet shop attendant, corporate mascot. Corporate what? I still see my face on some websites from time to time. Anyways, aside from you, Gil, my sis, Iris, and Lexi. Hmm. A lot of people don't want to see me in harm's way. Mostly because they're the ones who want to hurt me. What about you? I guess I have acquaintances here and there. Back at home in college, I went out a lot. It felt like going out with the, was the pleasure rather than the people involved. Aside from you and Gil. Closest friend since moving here is Alma. Oh, and Dorothy. I mean, sure, there's always four, but the cat's a hermit and refuses to go out. You know, he's a cat. Oh my god. Boss. Hey, boss. Hmm? Hey, how'd you lose your V-card? V, huh? You know, your V-card. Your oh my god. That's right, Parker. You're deflowering. Oh, that. Well, I'm legally bound to not disclose that information. Parker. Parker, please. Parker. I'm glad you can't talk, because then you'd be even more interrupting. I can't disclose that information. Come on, just give me a hint, or Jill. Bad things will happen for everyone if that info is revealed in any way. Alright, alright. Sheesh. I can only say this. The whole thing is related to my mechanical arm. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Great, now you're just teasing me. Any reason you want to know that? Well, everyone's first time is always a mess, but uh, I've always wanted to know if it was messy as time as mine. Uh. Yeah, don't. Kids. Don't listen to anyone who tells you the first time you have sex is going to be magical. Do you remember the first time you played basketball? It's going to be like that. You're going to just... It's going to be awful. But you get better at it. Alright? That's your motivational speech for today. What happened? Well, I got a lovey-dovey with my first boyfriend and we both got naked and I... Pff, when I saw his... Pff, when I saw his dick, I just started laughing. Parker's glaring at me. Nope. Parker's giving you kisses. By which I mean he's rubbing the mic. Which I hope isn't too audible. What? Got nervous? Nervous? No. I just find dicks funny. <laughs> you, uh? They're funny. <laughs> they have a sack attached to them. <laughs> and they grow. <laughs> 
<laughs> They're stupid meat rods. Parker's so alarmed right now. Calm down. So how did your boyfriend react? <laughs> he went flaccid for the laughter. <laughs> uh, and it just went... <laughs> it just shrugged and went limp. I had to work it out for a bit so I could control my laughter, but... It's just so hard. They're so stupid. <sighs> uh, stupid meat rods. You're finally drunk. You drank 12 beers in 10 minutes. And you're only drunk, like, an extra 15 minutes later. Jill? Z. Huh. <laughs> well, let's see how to move her... Let's see how to move her back inside before she catches the cold. Alright then. Parker, calm down. Please. Lovely glitch city. It's giant advertisements. It's snow. I guess it is December. <clears throat> I keep forgetting that. Mega Christmas is coming, everybody. Oh my god, that was only chapter one? Chapter two. Armagra. I think this game's supposed to be eight hours long, so I... I, I, I should be close? Uh, maybe it's only... Two or three chapters? The electricity bill we sent on that. $8,000?! What? What? Why is my electricity bill ten times higher than my rent? <clears throat> okay. Jill is curious about a Daruma she saw. Alright, let's get a Daruma. Crack Daruma. Why do I need $8,000? How am I supposed to get $8,000? Wait, the 24th? That's in five days! I'm screwed! What? Oh, boss left the hoodie anyway. Ha, <laughs> get wrecked, kid. So I am doomed. Unless, like, my amount of money, like, vastly increases. I've wasted some money, but only about a thousand? That seems... Unreasonable. Well, let's read some meme-chan. Apollo Bank is getting attacked too! Media's still awfully quiet about it. I bet I talked about it very briefly. Maybe someone lost their job due to that one rogue article. It was from Kim. She's always trying to read serious shit, but I think A got tired of her. Fucking shame. So we'll get his clickbait from now on. Gonna get worse at the very least. White Knight say there's a lot of people inside the building. At least three already dead. Huh? Is somebody there shooting people? Looks like from the security f the from the bleh. it looks like it was the security from the building, but I got no details yet. It sounds weird as fuck. <clears throat> Come on, insider non, you gotta give us more. Doing my best here. Thanks, base to non. Then they close the thread the moment it gets interesting. These these are the worst forum admins ever. The like shit posting is fine, but I mean insider thread info. Now nah, we're gonna we're gonna shut that down immediately. Explosion registered. Explosion alarm! Woo! Oh wait. I forgot to read the mark. Seems like a lot happened while I was gone. Some deep shit happened right there. Explosion registered! The media's still quiet about it. Can confirm there's an explosion, but it seems like it was just one of them. So there's not more bombs? Not just one? Or so there's more bombs. That's right. Um, Parker, please. Do we have any clue who's doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that this is a group, a new one, looking to overthrow the government. Parker! Parker! Get... Get down. No names have been mentioned? It's, looks like it's not a group, but just one person who set up all this. It's pretty ballsy. This is a rumor around here, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. How? A hacker group is helping hostages to escape. They're suspecting of Alice. They're suspecting of Alice? Huh. Someone doing stupid shit on the internet is actually useful. This thread is closed. Did you read the file? The file, apparently. I can't confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The hacker is shot dead and a huge amount of data was released all over the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those are nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage. It's actually pretty upsetting. Unsettling. Damn. The file is available from approximately 60,000 sources. Terabytes that contain all operations from the Split City government and White Knight operations. 
Seems the ultimate goal from the, the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but to lead hostages towards the servers inside of the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. Shit sounds whack. Uh, how do you even make out a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, it looks like I have to leave, but I'll try to write down all the details for a future post. I need some time, though. God speeding on. Thanks. <laughs> Will you read the file? Nah. It's fine. At least I have a pretty house when I get evicted. $8,000. $8,000. Oh! Meme Chan was arrested. Famous hacker Alice Rabbit graced the popular text board Dangeru with a new threat, which results in the arrest of the site's admin for a second time. I don't think that's how you... I don't think you arrest the person who had a threat, like... If somebody hacks a website, I don't think you arrest the person whose website it was. I don't think that's how you do that. We have no details to give other than she's arrested as part of an ongoing investigation. We're now busy tracking down the message that appeared that day. Inquired about the arrest, Trefer would say, with a calm, not this shit again. Some good police you got there. Some fine police work there, Lou. Nano Camel is now making smart underwear. Underwear you can change with a voice command was something you've really wanted in your life. Nano Camel has you covered. Ah. This is just actual wearable tech. Anyway. Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric. They plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a spoken word. No more stains in your white panties to change the color to black and you'll barely notice. Won't change the smell though, they're not that advanced. <sighs> We expect an increase in sales next year due to this innovative product. PR representative told the Augman to die. I'm already using them. Super comfy if you ask me. Oh, forgot to read the thingers. You just thought about looking up prices. Did not. Poor guy. Um, JSF fourth card, what? The blood feud between Giant Yusuke and 66 American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th at the annual GSF Dome event. But it's not the only match of the night. Other interesting bouts feature great workers, workers such as the great DK and Aaron's full card below. 66 American Kid vs. Giant Yusuke JSF Championship. Red Comet Jr. vs. Nagisa Women's the Championship. Akito vs. the great DK. Roy Campbell vs. Aaron's JSF Junior Championship. Jack Bomb and Blaze vs. Hedoya and Karak Kolta Tag Team Championship. Asuna vs. Siegfried. Wrestling? My boss made me curious. Well. Oops, nope, 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 nope. Not the load. Okay. I wonder if getting drunk was a major thing, so I'll just leave a gap there. So yeah, this, that was Valhalla. Um. Stay tuned next time before I find out how in the hell I'm gonna make $8,000 in like five days from working at a bar. Um, woo!